Welcome to Now Try This, the podcast where two best friends get together every week to try something new. I'm Marcus. And that's Nick. Nick, how are you doing? I'm doing great, fantastic, and swell. Marcus? I'm also doing great, fantastic, and swell, but also shitting my pants. <laughs> was that a good why? yes and? Oh, it was. Uh, well, why? Is this something you want need to talk about, buddy? Because this is the place to do it. Because this is now try this, the podcast. We're two best friends. That's what Marcus said. What does that mean, though? That means every week we challenge each other to something we love, something we a- admire to be like, something that has changed our lives fundamentally, something that we're just really into, and we make the other person watch and do it. That be- That way, you have to have your friend do the thing. And this week mm-hmm. we are doing Matilda. Yeah, that's a great way of putting it. I feel like we started this podcast because we wanted to uh, essentially force each other to to try the things that we love. You know, you always have that friend where you're like, oh, come on, you got to watch The Walking Dead. Oh, there's this new show, The Last of Us. You don't even have to play the game. Just get super into it. And you want you want your friend to do it. And they say, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it this week. I'll do it next week. I'll do it a month from now. Time passes and passes and passes and they never do the thing. And then you build up this resentment towards them. You build up this hatred towards your best friend. (laughs) Now they become your enemy and you have to crush them and you end up murdering them in their sleep. And we don't want that to happen. Or or on the final hour, you create a podcast with them so you do not have to murder them in your sleep. That is yes. the origins of Now Try yeah. This. I, Marcus was this close to I murdering me. standing over Nick's bed with a knife, and he was like, okay, I'll read Berserk. And I was like, good. Wow. Guys, it's a little hard to go back to our original episodes because we didn't know what we were doing. The sound quality is not great, but those early episodes, Berserk, Die Hard, Gantz, first season Now Try This, there's some good shit in there I it really is want to redo all of those episodes i feel like i am now more mature and i understand like my love of berserk a little bit better i understand oh, sure. my love of these things a little bit better i understand why they're important why i want to share them with you so we got to start a Ooh. second podcast where we just redo <laughs> old episodes or like our one friend said he would podcast about our podcast yes Yes, that's that's when do. you know you really made it. But mm-hmm. Marcus, our hundred, we're up, this is I think our 80th episode of seasons two. When we get to uh, episode 100, if you want to do something special, revisit something, go back. I think that's totally the time to do it. So put that in your thinking gap and think about it, because I yeah. would totally go back if you wanted to revisit yeah. a, a time, or maybe we revisit a whole bunch. You make a whole list about things that we haven't gone back to, that we've gone back to. Exactly. It sounds super yeah. interesting, guys. Let us know what we should do for our hundredth episode in about twenty episodes, and the easiest way, the easiest way to get in and contact us, the easiest way to join our community is at Patreon.com/slash Now Try This Cast. Well, where you guys get to submit once a month what we try. That's right. You get to be Become our best friend once a month. You can submit if you get five dollars, but for just one dollar, you get to vote on what the final thing is going to be. The last I looked, it was a it was a it's pretty still close race up for four days. Four Hello, more days, vaping guys. father. Feel free to go over to patreon.com slash now try this cast and vote on what challenge we do next. Yes, please. Because right now is it still pretty close? I'll tell mm-hmm. you what's going on. March okay. comes in like a lion. Ooh. is winning which is an anime we have while you were sleeping is third is has three votes guillermo del toro's cabin of curiosities has three votes and puss in boots the last wish has three votes so it's pretty wow. close march comes That's like really a, close. like march comes in like a lion it's hard to say is only winning by one vote wow that is crazy yeah it is interactive go join that patreon yo so <laughs> Uh, but if you can't do that if you don't have any money you can follow us here on twitch you can leave us a five-star review on itunes it's extremely helpful having other people find us and of course if you have a amazon prime you can follow you can subscribe to the podcast on twitch for free yep supporting the podcast anyway helps us continue oh look just at like that. nick nick nevis just subscribed i wonder who that with is his amazon prime 
<laughs> such good timing. It is Amazon Prime. Such good timing. Cool. And guys, if you think we just do weird musicals like Matilda, that's wrong. Last week we did Mathrigan. You got me saying it. I can't stop now. Hell yeah. It's Mithrigan. Hell yeah. Uh, I heard someone else say it too. So you're like in good company. I'm in good company, baby. And it was a really fun episode. We talked about evil dolls. We talked about what scary movies should be. Go check it out. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good, it was a good time. We talked about AI and how scary it could be. It is. But Marcus, mm-hmm. before we get to Matilda, before we get to any of that malarkey, I, I, I gotta tell you. There's something, and if you want to completely derail what I'm saying and then go to a whole other topic for 20 minutes, that's totally fine. But Marcus, yesterday was the season premiere of The Bachelor. Wow. Okay. I need to hear about this because I was a former batch head. What do the fans Mm -hmm. call themselves? Batch head. You're right. I was a former batch head. I used (laughs) to love watching The Bachelor and I'm out of the game. You got me back in for one season, but I... Not sticking around. So that wasn't even a fun seat that I I made you watch that because it was like dumb. Mm -hmm. Like we haven't had a good season for a while. Last season was a mess. The season before that was a mess. Last season was two bachelorettes because the season before the guy told I love you and had sex with all three of his top women. And they all and he told them all and it was a whole huge mess. So then the top two, they made the bachelorettes and that was a whole mess. So now they took one of the most, and I like him, but one of the most milk toast contestants from that season. Which no one is problems. that? Problems. His name is Zach. What happened to the dad? Wasn't he supposed to be a contestant? He went to batch. He went to paradise, and he found someone. Yo, let me tell you about what happened to paradise okay. real quick. So on paradise, he's getting Did with he this get girl. Jacked? He is jacked. He looks great. He looks great. Wow. He's he looks even better than he did in that season. Wow. He, he abandoned his son. So we can get <laughs> well, but uh, Mexico, I think they're only there for two weeks or six weeks. It's okay. like a lot shorter than Got it. what Bachelor Bachelorette is. Mm-hmm. So someone correct me if I'm wrong. I think it might be two weeks. It's like a really short amount of time. But I meant I meant for those gains he abandoned his son. Oh, <laughs> not for. Uh, thanks for voting, baby father. Now, he got with this girl, told her he didn't love her, told her they had to move on. He was saying his goodbyes. And right before Rose Mayor ceremony, when he was about to leave, they brought in a girl that was from three or four seasons ago, five or six seasons ago, whose fiance died. And, and now he fell in love with that person. So well, the his dead, wife died. Yeah. Her fiance died. The dead significant others club. They're both in their mid to late thirties. Oh, they God. put them both on the beach and they're in love. They're oh, together. God. And oh, it, God. it's, it's so dumb because it's so like it, it it feels like it feels like when they if they like pushed a black girl in front of the black blaster and said, right? Which this they do it, right? a lot. Which they, they do, do it all lot. the time. They do it. They lot. do it all the goddamn time. Yeah. It's like, hey, you both love someone who died. Here you go. Enjoy. But the truth is, they're both so emotionally intelligent. They had really meaningful conversations about it okay. and about grief. And they seem really like in love. And he's, she seems excited about his son. Yeah. And they seem to be doing really great. It Her sounds like they just trauma bonded a little bit. A hundred. <laughs> what bond is greater? <laughs> Give me one bond that's greater than a trauma bond. Give me one. Sunny and I Cher. Dare you. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good answer. Thank you, uh, Vaping Father, for joining the Patreon. Now, Marcus, but all to say they didn't pick anybody interesting. Any of these people that everyone liked. Uh, they pick Zach, who everyone liked, but he was he's very milk toast. So the mm-hmm. premiere happened, Marcus. I have nothing, almost nothing to say about it. It was so by the books. It was so cookie cutter. Uh-huh. I would love, I would love to give you another season, bring you back in, yeah. do it on the podcast. Bachelor sure. stuff gets numbers. It gets numbers. I would love to do it, but Marcus, nothing happened in this episode except one thing, and she left. So there's like nothing happening. That's it. That sounds very boring. It it wasn't great. It wasn't great. The only thing that happened was <laughs> there was one girl, Madison, and she came in and she talked with them for like five sentences. Nothing <laughs> happened. And then she went to all the girls. She said, oh, my God, we have a really connection. Oh, my God, we were so into each other. Oh, my God, that was crazy. Oh, my God. And then in Tulsa Mono, she was like, oh, my God, we were vibing so hard. I want to kiss him bad, so bad. I want to kiss him so bad. And then she's watching him actually kiss other people. And she's like, why is he kissing her? Why is he kissing her? Why is he kissing oh, her? And then she goes someone like that. She goes, it was season. bad. It, it was somebody who went in for the double dip, went to talk to him again. 
and like showed him this goofy dance that made no goddamn sense, but then grabbed his neck, grabbed it hard and pulled him in to make him kiss her. And she knew she fucked up because it was not a good kiss. That's not good. And then he was talking, he was talking to Jesse, the host right Mm -hmm. before the rose ceremony. And she comes out and says, can I talk to you for a second? And she was like, look, I I don't want to stay. I don't want to get rejected to be swung along. If if you're not into this, then just tell me now. And he's like, I'm not into this. And she's like, okay. And she walks away and just bursts out into tears. It was so sad. I mean, she hey, was, at least there's that. Save them some oh. time. But she's gone, so now there's, <laughs> it's nothing. Right. there's no more <laughs> chaos. There's nothing. There's a, what do you think makes a good contestant? Because I'm sitting here, and I didn't like any of the women. I didn't find any of them, like, overly interesting, charismatic. I think I think you need several good contestants, right? I think that you true. want the one that's going to fall in love with the person. You yeah. want the toxic, troublemaking, bad person, right? You want the drama. You also want to make sure that you have like a good, kind-hearted sweetheart who's not going to win, but you, whose story you really fall behind, you know? Yeah. Because she she will then become the bachelorette and that that's who you want, you know? Yeah. You want someone whose story you're going to become invested in before they're even announced as the bachelorette. And then everyone else is just trash. They're just fodder. It's whatever you got. The, you got the one that there you want. You got the one that's best for them. You got the one that you wish won. And then you got the toxic person. You got this three people you need. Everyone else is whatever. There was one girl who for her limo entrance, she licked him to mark her territory. No, she went home night one. If she peed on him. Now that's television. <laughs> I'd watch that. <laughs> well, that's what I've been wasting my time watching. What have you been up to, Marcus? <laughs> Me, I have been. It was my birthday. Yay! Happy birthday. It was my birthday over the weekend. Uh, and so we celebrated. I'm trying to sort of like build com- local community a little bit. You know, it went Ooh, to I visited a comic book store and they have magic tournaments and Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments and hero clicks matches and chess meetups and stuff. And so it seemed like a kind of Ooh. fun place. It's like a 15 minute drive for me, too. So it's chess like not meetup. too bad. Kind of play some chess again. I don't know. I might get into some stuff. I might get into Yu-Gi-Oh or whatever. Digimon. I don't know. Sure. I just I need people that I are hear near Digimon's me. fun. Yeah. And, and honestly, does the game doesn't matter, right? As long as no, there's people as long in your as community, there's people, there's people hanging out. Yeah. Joseph and I played Yu-Gi-Oh because that's just what we played. We could have played anything and we mm-hmm. just would have hang out. That was totally cool. But speaking of community, speaking of things to do, I do have your birthday present here that is almost complete. Okay. Uh, it's not quite complete because somebody didn't send me a part of it and I got to complain about them. But you now are in possession of your very own meta zombie deck. Oh, yeah. What? I That's made it for you. Crazy. I did the Googles just for some shout outs of some stuff that you got. You got Drago, Necro, something, something. You got Archfield, <laughs> Zombie Skull. You got... Gasha Dokuro, the skeletal Maya Kahashi. Oh you got goodness. skeletal dragons. You got a whole side deck with links and synchros. And you got the good stuff in here. You got the zombie worlds. Oh, you man. got the red eyes zombie dragons. You got the Doom King Balbal Rock. Hell yeah. That's so fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's so, now, that means so much. If I got me. you the best version of all these things, this deck would have cost $150. Please don't do that. <laughs> But TCG Player, shout out to them. They got this amazing feature where you make every, you put everything in your car. So I did. Yeah. I tried my best yeah, to yeah. make you a deck. Honestly, there's probably some bugs in it. You got to fix. You got to fix that shit yourself. That's your fucking problem. <laughs> but, 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 but then there's a button you press where it goes to all its second vendors and it does all the work to do all the comparison shopping mm-hmm. for you. So the whole deck came down to 40. And I was like, hell yeah. Oh, wow. And isn't that so cool? It was started at 150 and it went down to 40. Like, that's, that's such amazing. a cool feature. Shout yeah. out to C- TCG Player. But we got your zombie deck. Thank you so I much. I know you got a fun deck and I'm excited to see what that was. And it's you to play, so but- bad. I will. I'll play it with you guys. But now I have options, which is fun. Well, well I wanted you to have a deck that's you. Yeah, this is I totally your style of play. You. It's your thing. You're the zombie dude. Thank and you. And I know you want to play like hard against us. So yeah. and honestly, I'm a little scared. Because I made this deck with metas now, I'm pretty sure you might beat us into oblivion with it <laughs> because it has things that I need for my deck. That's and I was hilarious. like, fuck, this That's is a good awesome. card. I That's almost don't awesome. want to put this in here. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> I'm excited. That's the kind of thing where you, you so got to like, man. send this. Yeah, of course, man. Happy That's birthday. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Well, now my yeah. birthday just got even better. Very excited. <laughs> 
Oh god, yeah. Uh, and I'm we're excited about you building, which I'm very excited about too. Oh if yeah, you... yeah, yeah. I'm so freaking excited, mm-hmm. guys. If you have any suggestions about packs, uh, I have been a couple years. You went? Did you go last year? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I go every year. Yeah, last year was the I, first, I, I just... know, but last year was the first day. It was back, first year is back, right? Oh wait, did I go last year? I think I did. I don't remember. I think was I did. It back yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I went. Back. I think the first year it I was. It, I remember you going, but I, I haven't been in a couple years because I've been like so caught up with different things. Mm-hmm. But this time it's you. Me, yeah. it's Joseph. We got the gang. We're going. I'm so excited. And the last time we went to PAX, I was at, I was like at my worst in my life ever. Uh huh. And now that we're going, I think I might be in the best place I'm at. That's awesome. Because of this man. podcast, because of yeah. my career, because yeah. of my partner. I think everything's coming up roses. Hell yeah. I'm excited about that. And we'll It'll play be a some fun games. Time. Play some yeah. games, hang out. If you see us at PAX, feel free to say hi. We'll be here walking yes. around. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. If enough people, if enough people said they would want to say hi to us, we would wear t-shirts. Oh, for sure. Yeah. We'd be like, I, my, my name's Dick from now. Try this. Just get us t-shirts that say, ask me about my podcast. And then on, is that, on the back says, please, I'm begging you. <laughs> ask me about my, is that a real t-shirt? I'm sure it is. It is. Yeah. That seems like a t-shirt. Oh my God. I'm buying us these shirts, dude. <laughs> oh my God. What size are you? Uh, a large. <laughs> okay, great. I'll buy two larges right now. Uh, you want black, blue, yeah, or black. red? It's, it's very slimming. Uh-huh. The gray is nice. The gray is like a charcoaly gray. Give me black. Okay, we, I got one black. I'm gonna I'm gonna need a different different color. I got one black. <laughs> it's going back, in my on, Amazon cart. No, no. Right Lexi now. said she's gonna make it. It's on the back. It needs to say, "Please, I'm begging you." Ba- oh, baby, I love you so much. You cannot make a t-shirt. Why? You've never made a t-shirt in your life. Why do you think you could make a t-shirt? <laughs> Darren says what you have t- to have the back of it. The back of it's the important part. Do you want me to buy this and you can put something on the back? No gel then, pen. No. Oh I wanna, my god. We can, we can make it. We can make it. Anyone can make a t-shirt. I've made t-shirts. Uh, uh, Fine. We will wait for our partners to make the t-shirt source. Marcus, I will also buy the t-shirts. We'll have both. It's fine. <laughs> as backup. <laughs> we'll have this as backup. All right. Fine. Okay. Fine. Make us the t-shirts. Good, good, good. And we can have a little now try this. So because everyone has, please ask me, you know, but the please I'm begging you. I think that like shows that's a little that's now try this specific branded comedy right there. All right. <laughs> it really is. It really is. Together so they can try things. Yeah.